Now we're going to look at one of the most powerful tools in Capital IQ, which is the screening section. Screening is where we can look for companies. We can look for transactions like mergers and acquisitions or private placements, and we can generate ideas. So if we work in investment banking, investment management, private equity, or at a corporation, so we're talking about almost the full suite of financial careers that CFI trains to, you can generate ideas for all these types of jobs in here. So we're going to spend quite a bit of time here in the screening tool. Let's click into screening right now. And we could start somewhere like company screening. And this is where we're going to set criteria. So imagine that we're looking for a company in a particular industry. And we don't know the company's name or its competitors. This is why we're using the screening tool. We're trying to find these companies. Now, one way to do this would be to search for based on the company's business description. So we can go to business descriptions and you can search for keywords in the business description. So let's say we want to search for businesses that are in cloud computing. Let's add this criteria. So the business description must contain cloud. You can see we get a lot of results here, 27,000 businesses that have cloud in the business description. Well, we want to quickly narrow this down. So let's add some other criteria. Let's say we only want public companies. Okay, so we can add company type. Must be public company. Add that to the screen. Right away, that cuts the list way down to 1,700. Now, let's put some size parameters on it. Let's say the market cap has to be greater than a certain number. So we're going to say the market capitalization must be greater than, and remember that the units that are used as default in capital IQ are millions. So let's say we want to look at a billion market cap. Okay, must be greater than a billion. Add that to the screen. Now we just have 500 companies. Let's think of what else we might want to add. Let's look at location. How about that? Let's say we are only looking for companies that are in European developed markets. Okay, and now we're down to 62. Now this looks like a reasonable list that we could start to work with. So we're going to click on view results. So now what we get is this list with a default set of columns that display information. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at customizing these. But for now, we've got our list of 62 companies in cloud computing that are public, that are based in European developed markets with a market cap that's greater than a billion dollars. Here we are with our list of 62 companies in cloud computing. And what we're going to do now is adjust the columns here that display the output information. So let's click on add or edit. We definitely want to have the business description, the company type, the market cap, geographic locations. Those are all helpful. But let's add revenue as well. So we're clicking here for total revenue. Let's choose now the time period. We could have last 12 months, latest annual. Let's go for last 12 months and then add to screen. So there we see over on the right here, the total trailing revenue for the last 12 months. Let's see, so revenue is helpful. Let's add EBITDA. Last 12 months. And then let's also add net income. All right, so there's all sorts of things you can add, of course, to this, these output columns. But this is a good starting point. We've now got, you know, the company's business description, its market cap, its revenue, its profitability, and so on. So that gives us a pretty good sense of things. Let's export this list to Excel now. All right, here's the list. Let's just resize this. Let's zoom in a little. 
There you go. Let's tighten up these columns a bit. Uh, except for the business description, which we'll make bigger. And the company name. So there we go. We've got here our list of companies, their tickers, business descriptions, and then we've got here their financial information. So we could go through and sort this list, or we could look through it manually. It's a manageable size with 62 companies. So say we were looking for companies to invest in or to acquire, we might want to read the business description if we're looking for something specific in cloud computing. And we may want to add a revenue requirement as well, a minimum or a maximum or something like that. And then we're starting to build a pretty interesting list for our specific cloud computing search.